A punch from KSI. Did not make this video's list of the most painful things people can experience in the world. How? I don't know, man. How, Sway? <laughs> How's that impossible? I am the most powerful being of all beings. Sure, sure. Being. Shut up and watch the video. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone remembers painful experiences. Like that time your paper blew off the table in class and gave you the world's worst paper cut on your scrotum. What, or what? even worse. <laughs> Hello? Uh, I don't what? recall that one happening. <laughs> Wait, first of all, why are you naked, bro? <laughs> <laughs> why are oh, you yeah. naked? <laughs> when you had to go to the hospital to have the surgeons operate on the sole of your foot to remove that one by one Lego brick. If you thought they were Stephen bad experiences, that much. then <laughs> buckle up to hear painful experiences that are even worse than that torture. Here are the most painful things people ever I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this, to be honest. Childbirth. The wonderful miracle of life. Most women go through it. Nine months of gestation. Then out of it comes a baby. Nah, uh, let's be real, though. Gang kicks in the balls. All right, shut up. Nah, press play, Vic. Press play. Even the smallest one is still pretty big. Now imagine it coming out what? of you. Some women <laughs> described it feeling like they were having their organs ripped out. But that's not all the pain a woman goes through. I guarantee you, JJ, I guarantee you couldn't even handle a period, bro, let alone bro, bro, actual childbirth. It's just like a big poo. <laughs> Maybe your childbirth was a big poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we just watch the video? <laughs> Some women paint a very painful picture of it. They say it's like your body being punched, twisted, bro, and wrung out from I the I take that daily. I always <laughs> get punched. They say it's like your body being punched, twisted, and wrung out from the inside. Other the inside. Like you ain't been punched from the inside. inside. How badly are you getting worked in your sparring, bro? You're getting ringed out from the inside. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear it. That's not sparring <laughs> anymore, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought your defense was so good, JJ. What, you're telling me that when you train every day, it's as bad as childbirth? No, I don't no, want to hear it. Then, yeah, they get in, innit? Uh, right, in, okay. Just like, let's, just, let's, just, let's, just, let's just listen. Some women can spend a lot of time going into labor before they actually deliver the baby. The longest labor ever recorded was for 75 days. 75 days? Bro, no. I could do that in like 30 Dude, seconds. Shut up, oh, you need to it's shut up. It's a 12 up. and a half right, minute right. video and you've paused it five times in the just first minute. Just to chat utter shit. I feel sorry for the viewers at home. They just want to find out Fuck. what's painful. Do you know what, actually? The most painful things we can experience is fucking you. Being a reactive JJ. <laughs> all in all, it's a wonder why women keep putting themselves through it. Number nine, tetanus. All right. Tetanus is a very well-known bacterial disease. It's an infection that affects your nervous system. It's famous for causing muscle spasms. It is also I feel like I'm more scared of tetanus than I should Because be. the spasms tend yeah. to begin in the jaw. Even worse, the jaw lock can also make breathing harder. Overall, Bro, it's a I very swear tough I've had disease. That before, when the... licking out pussy. Okay. Bro, I my jaw am... locks. You know what you I mean? That one's... We've all been there, yeah? A little bit of Brother. tetanus while eating out the... <laughs> oh, I'm so tired of this video and it's been not even two minutes into the video. <laughs> Just shut up. The spasms can last up to a few minutes. They usually occur for a period of four weeks and frequently. Some people who had tetanus described it as a living hell. The spasms can be so violent that it's not fair for them to cause bone fractures. Tetanus oh, is commonly crazy. caused really by a rough. puncture. Things oh. like rusty nails or rusty fences oh. can easily carry oh, the tetanus. No! No! <laughs> and there isn't a known cure for the disease. Thankfully, a vaccine oh, was invented make that can help prevent tetanus. So make sure you're vaccinated. And get your boosters when you need them. Number eight: cluster headaches. Everyone's had a headache. I don't, I don't know about this Some people also have migraines. What is this? Tough. A few unlucky a people have headache cluster headaches. Eight. It's worse they than tetanus. They feel so much pain Bro. they can't even think straight. This is a neurological what? disorder. Cluster headaches are much worse than even the worst headaches. And they usually occur around the eye. Ugh. The headaches are excruciating and recurrent. Ooh. Some describe it as similar to feeling a hot rod going into your eye. Others say it feels like their bit. temple and eye are being cut open while they're being electrocuted and burnt. The symptoms can last for minutes to even three hours. 
The worst, though, is that these headaches come in clusters, so they tend to go away for a period of time and come back just as viciously in painful batches. Some clusters can even last up to a year. No one knows the true cause of this kind of headache. I'm feeling slightly better about my existence yeah. right now. God forbid, God forbid no, that. Yeah, that's very touch wood. I literally eat that for breakfast. Okay. No, honestly, I've had headaches that have been like. You so talking bad. is giving me a cluster headache. Shut up. <laughs> the condition is more common in men than women. They can occur at any age, but usually they start around the age of 20. These Ooh, headaches okay. are also we're, known we're as clear. suicide headaches. Old That's bones. because the pain can be so much Maybe. that it triggers people to consider unthinkable thoughts. No Number way, seven, nice. trigeminal neuralgia. <laughs> trigeminal neuralgia is a condition that affects the trigeminal nerve. Don't know it? Neither yep. did I. But apparently this nerve has a very crucial job, which is to carry sensations from your face to your brain. So, if you have trigeminal neuralgia, any stimulation of your face can cause excruciating pain. Things like sure. brushing your teeth, putting on makeup, or even smiling results in a pain a million times worse than something like biting your tongue. Some oh. even described it as having a monster on their face. Others say that anytime something touches your face, you feel like you got shot That's or even fat. shot. That some people just this condition fat. happens yeah. when the nerve is disrupted, usually caused by a blood vessel. This pain disorder happens more commonly to women than men. It also usually occurs in people older than 50. There isn't a cure for the disorder yet, unfortunately. That's but doctors so can usually try to control and manage it through medication and sometimes surgery. Number six, stonefish. The stonefish is a sneaky little critter. They're experts at camouflage, hiding amongst stones fish. and other things alike, oh, wow. which is a bad thing for humans. That's because they're the most venomous fish in the world. Wow. All stonefish have very sharp, needle-like spines. Why do we spine. go in the sea, man? If you this ever is, step bro, on Bro, I've been <laughs> saying this, Vic. I've been saying this. Bro, All the worst <laughs> stuff is in the sea. Honestly, the only reason I go into the sea is to knock out sharks. If you ever step that. on one, it's like, bad news for you. That's because no, the video is playing, very bro, strong shot. poison. This poison causes severe pain on your feet and legs. It will even cause you to <laughs> swell up a lot. But that's not all. It can also cause headaches, rashes, heavy Ooh. cramps, and even death. One oh. unlucky person who got stung painted a horrible picture about his experience. He described the pain as holding an oxy welding torch on your foot. Then, it works its way what? up your whole leg for an hour. After that, it feels like smashing your leg with a sledgehammer every 10 seconds. Fuck Ouch. That. After hearing that... If this happens to me, I'm just saying, like, put me to sleep. I need to ride this one out, bro. Just knock me out with whatever you got, bro. I don't. <laughs> I'm gone. I'll see you on the other side. Wait, can I? They're like, let me punch. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We know you. I'm sure there's more efficient ways. Ego isn't so bad. I don't know if that was a Thankfully, <laughs> the anti venom is widely available. But if you ever feel a sting on your foot when you dive, you need to rush straight away to the hospital. That will save you. I don't think acupuncture is going to help, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Number five, second degree burn. You Ooh. might be thinking, well, what about third degree burns? Many people don't know it. Yeah, but I get this all the time, especially when I'm in the studio. The degree of pain isn't related to the degree of the burn. Second degree burns are actually the most painful type. That's because a third degree burn goes through all your tissue and destroys your nerve endings. So in that way, the burnt area feels numb, so which is not the case with second Shut up! Burns. With Shut second... up! It wasn't funny. <laughs> the silence was funny. The joke was shit. Okay. <laughs> with second degree burns, there's pain, redness, swelling, and blistering. They affect the epidermis and the dermis, but not the nerves. The result is a very painful experience indeed. Ever burned yourself while cooking? Now imagine sustaining up, a JJ. way more serious <laughs> and prolonged burn. Some people oh, who let him cook. Who let him cook? Who let him cook? Said that the aftermath is equally as painful. For example, during treatment while tending the burnt area. With this type of burn, oh. it usually takes two or three weeks for the area to heal. Thankfully, there is medicine that helps with infections. The Thank pain, you. and it'll help heal the burn. Sometimes, Surgery is necessary to remove the damaged tissue and replace it. That's grim. Like your tissue must actually die and like shit fucking starts growing in it. That's uh... wild. Number four, Durkham's disease. The fuck is that? Durkham's disease is an extremely rare disease. 
It causes big fatty tumors to grow beneath a person's skin. Oh, wow. They tend to grow around the extremities of the body and on the torso. Multiple lumps appear on the person. Worse yet, these lumps can cause a whole deal of pain. They do that because they press on nearby nerves, activating pain receptors. Some oh. people with extreme cases describe it as feeling like all the fat in your body is hurting. Sometimes, people with Durkham's disease feel pain even if they sit completely still, doing nothing. Durkham's disease was first found by Francis Xavier Durkham in 1892. But even though it's been like known for so long, yourself. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I guess so. Well, I don't know. Just to be popular in it. Notoriety. Maybe. Yeah. No one knows what's the cause of Durkham's disease. Some believe it's hereditary. Why is this stressing me out thinking I could just cop any of these random things for Others no reason? Others believe it's an want. autoimmune disorder. I rebuke them. The I was truth, better off not knowing, is innit? <laughs> Durkham's disease has a bigger chance of happening to women, especially middle-aged or have gone through menopause. It often shows up between the age of 45 to 60 years. Number three, bullet ant sting. Ooh, the bullet ant is a species of ant known for its very powerful sting. The it. ant is yeah. native to rainforest in Central and South America. This ant can grow up to 1.2 inches bro, long that's and are sort of similar to wasps, minus the wings. Just the sight of one of them can be pretty intimidating. The bullet ant's sting is ranked oh. as the most painful sting according to the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, which is a scale that compares the sting of a bunch of different Five species, hours. like wasps, bees, and ants. I, got put on the I know, though. right? Who on earth put their name forward to test that? And just in case you're wondering, yes, the bullet ant gets its name because the pain is similar to getting shot. Just imagine having one of these bite your eye, and you've probably oh. just imagined the worst pain possible. Oh Some God. describe it as a throbbing ache, with waves of burning sensations, and all-consuming pain that can last for over a whole day. I find Sounds stinging horrible, that right? rough, so I can't even well, imagine. Well, it's part of an initiation yeah, I mean. rite for a Brazilian tribe called the Saterimaue. The rite what? is meant to turn boys into warriors. In it, the Indians grab hundreds of ants and oh, weave them God. into gloves made of leaves. The boys then have to put their hands on the glove for five full minutes. When the rite is over, the boys' hands and arms are paralyzed and will be that way for days. That's Not crazy. only that, the boy may shake uncontrollably for days. Sounds like the warriors of that tribe are pretty stupid. <laughs> Tough. Number two, <laughs> the tub. The tub was one of the cruelest forms of torture ever created. What? It's also known as scaphism, and it was invented by the Persians. This is how it worked. The victim would be put into two wooden tubs or canoes with their head and legs sticking out. Then, their head and legs would be doused in honey in order to attract bees and other things. Oh. Said critters would repeatedly attack the victim as they do. Guess that's where they got the inspiration for that famous Nicolas Cage scene in The Wicker oh. Man. But it doesn't stop there. The torturers actually kept feeding the victim milk and honey in order to keep them alive. That also led them to have horrible bowel movements. They would eventually fill the container with their excrement, allowing oh. insects and maggots to breed and proliferate. Oh. Nah. Their flesh. This would happen until the person became deceased. It could that be from the stings, that's the septic shock, or the gangrene. No good options there. That's one of the most Coming horrible up, things I've ever heard It's something so yeah. painful that it became a popular How do you even think of that? You can't be some fucked up in I reckon Simon little. could come up with that idea. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be fucked up in the head Jesus. to come up with that. <laughs> Simon definitely caught a stray there. <laughs> <laughs> it, no, if there's any one of the Number Simons one, to come up with a Ling punishment Chi. like that, I reckon. That's Have Simon. you ever heard the phrase death by a thousand cuts? That's literally what Ling Chi is. Ling Chi is a form of torture and eventually execution devised by the Chinese. The actual translation is something akin to lingering death or slow slicing. In it, the prisoners would be tied to a wooden frame and displayed in public. The torturer would then use a knife to remove small pieces of flesh over oh. an extended period of time. The torturers would make sure no deadly cuts would be made so the death would be as prolonged as possible. Fuck. The Chinese believe this punishment worked on three different levels. First, it was a slow and painful death. Second, it worked as a form of public humiliation. And lastly, it worked as a punishment after death. That's because the Chinese believe that by cutting the body of their victims, their soul wouldn't be complete in the afterlife. The Chinese started the practice around the year 900 
and it was only banished in 1905. What oh, looked like the most wow. painful thing for you? I didn't enjoy any of that. Well, I'm sure yeah. someone uh, watching this is going to type that on Google. Or I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. I would say uh, crack on with your day and be grateful that yeah, just, you're, just you're, move you're on. clear of all this stuff.